All right, what is going on guys? Today, I am going to be going over the best and worst try-hard catchphrases from GTA Online. And you probably hear these from other games too, like Hold the L or I'm Up Forever. But we're going over specifically GTA, because GTA Online is its own breed of stupid. So, I thought that would be the perfect thing to go over today. So, you know, let's get started with the first one. The first one is trash hard this is the first catchphrase of the day and it is trash hard i'm gonna put this in d tier <clears throat> this like this this catchphrase bro this is like one of the weakest catchphrases of all time it's not very original <laughs> and if you're wondering what the criteria is for um these rankings it's just whichever one is probably the most insulting or uh more most creative i guess i don't know I just thought this would be a funny idea. I don't. I didn't really come up with a plan. I just, you know, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna go with the flow. I'm just gonna go with with my heart and uh, put these where I think they belong. And trash hard, honestly, not very insulting. Uh, this is like some D tier level fucking insult. Maybe maybe C tier. Nah, bro. It's not insulting at all. It's kind of cringe to be honest. Calling someone a trash art. Ooh, you really got them, bro. So, um, yeah, no. No. Next up, we got beach. Um, it's just a simple word, and yet it can strike fear in your hearts. This is probably one of the more iconic ones, so I'm going to put it in A tier. I was going to put it in B tier, but I can't. A tier, just because, like, whenever you hear this, you know you're either about to get your shit rocked, or you're about to take the biggest shit on someone else in your entire life. Those are the only two possibilities that come out of beach. There's no in-between. You're either going to get shitted on so hard you're never going to play the game again. Or you're going to take the biggest dump on someone ever. It's going to be like a 30-0 card. Scorecard. So, um, yeah. And I think we've all been there. If you do GTA PvP, you've, defini you've definitely been there. So, <laughs> yeah. Beach is A tier. Because it's kind of just iconic at this point. Like... Just, you immediately know what they're talking about. If you play GTA a lot, you know damn well what they're talking about. So, actually, now now that I'm thinking about it, fucking S tier, bro. You already know damn well what they want, and it's just, <laughs> it's kind of funny, to be honest, when people ask for that shit. Like, bro, shut up. Get the fuck out of here. Um, next up, we got the biggest insult of them all, Pussive Noob. And I'm going to put this in C tier. Yeah, um, very original, you know, crazy original, and new, pussive noob, yeah, um, no one ever really uses this one, so it's kind of original, I guess, no one, no one says this shit, bro, pussive noob, no one says that shit, uh, I don't really have anything else to say about that one, but next up, we got I'm Up Forever, we're gonna put it in B tier, because it is cringe, um, you're up forever, Next up, we got Hold the L. Oh my goodness. That's basically the same as I'm Up Forever. I'll put that in C tier just because everyone says this. It's, no one cares. Um, next up, we got, you know, you won't 1v1 because you know I'm better. Now this, this is crazy. Imagine saying this to someone, bro. You really got you really got to hold their balls on this one. You won't 1v1 because you know I'm better. Now, if you receive this, you probably just whoop someone's ass. Um... Literally, anyway, it, no matter if you just snipe them a couple of times or you use a jet and play like a shithead, either way, you're going to get the specials from one of the biggest tryhards in the lobby. Like, 1v1, you want 1v1 because you know I'm better. Yeah, um, I've gotten these messages before, and you know, I th secretly they're right, honestly. Secretly they're right. Anyways, I made you leave the lobby because I am 10-0. Basically, the same thing is you want 1v1 because you know I'm better. Like, most, like, if you ever play GTA Online, sometimes you'll get kicked out of the session for no reason, then you'll get some message like, I made you leave the lobby because you knew you were about to get clapped. Trust! Like, and you were up, like, on 10 or something. So, yeah, people who say this, they're just, <laughs> either, either they know they're cooked and they're just trying to get a rise out of you, or they're just delusional. <laughs> so, um, next up, we got the cringiest one of them all, I'm up globally. <laughs> Who says this shit, dude? I'm up globally. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I think that means like they have a higher KD or 
their crew is like ranked higher or something. I don't know, but they're up globally apparently. So I don't know. I've received this message a bunch of twice in my four year GTA career. So <laughs> yeah, but I've only received this message like a handful of times. I think um, I was I watched a putter video and someone said that to him one time. So that's kind of how I got the idea for putting that one on the tier list. And honestly, I think that's pretty funny. You're up globally. You get clapped in a session, but you're up globally. Um, next up, I get this one a lot because I use the Night Shark. You wouldn't have won without using a blank. And I'm going to put this one in A tier because I get this one pretty fucking often. Uh, you wouldn't have won without using your Night Shark or um, your Sparrow. Um, you know, and that's just coming from salty people. And usually... Usually I only get a couple Night Shark kills, and then I'll clap them on foot, and then, you know, I'll get back in the Night Shark just to piss them off. So, I mean, most of the time when people are saying this, they're just coming up with excuses. <laughs> so, like, maybe I can understand if someone used an orbital cannon <laughs> or something, but you wouldn't have won without using a heavy sniper. Like, okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. Um... Next up, my personal favorite, because I've actually gotten this more and more often, um, doesn't matter if you beat me in a video game, because I'm rich and famous. I get this one every now and again, and it honestly is pretty funny, so, like, there was this one guy that messaged me after I kicked his ass or whatever, and, like, I put the messages up on screen, but he was telling me about how he was on this TV show, <laughs> and that I'm a, I'm a fucking bum, <laughs> And he makes uh, seven seven figures a year. This was forever ago, by the way. I'm just remembering something from like forever ago. But that's like the only time this happened to me. And I thought it was so funny. So, you know. Yeah, I'm rich and famous, uh, definitely. I have a higher KD ratio, kid. <sighs> I really hate to break it to you, but no one gives a fuck about KD ratio. Actually, I think KD ratio is a bit more balanced now. But it like updates in adversary modes. Not just death matches, so um next up we got one of my personal favorites and putter's personal favorite for using a thumbnail and title. <sighs> You're in God mode. You're in God mode, kid. You're in God mode. Yeah, uh I get this one every now and again too. This one's pretty common. Uh just like you'll hit they'll hit you once and they won't get the kill, but then you'll hit them once and then you will kill them. I hate it when that happens uh, the other way around to me, but, yeah, no, um, people people get killed once, and they'll be like, oh my god, fucking god mode, so, you know, uh, they need just some excuse to say, to get like a free kill or something, <laughs> so, yeah, um, next up we got touch grass, um, you know, you should really do this sometime, viewer, but, you know, uh, I'm gonna put that one in C tier just because everyone says it, <laughs> it's not really original, um, but yeah, touch grass, if, j just touch grass, if you have a thousand KD, especially, touch grass, kid. Um, next up, we got, um, get some bitches, uh, we'll put that one, like, fucking here, <laughs> probably because it's true. <laughs> um, next up, we got the all-time classic, um, I'm gonna put it in A tier just because it's iconic, not quite S tier, but I'm gonna put it in A tier, it's 10 cry, this is an iconic one. <laughs> so, yeah, one oh cry. I really don't have much to say about this one. It's pretty fucking simple, but it's going in A tier just because of how stupid and how much it's used. Um, and finally, we have your garbage. Just get just. I'm just. I don't know why I put that one in here, but this is probably an S tier one. If you've ever fought one of those E girls, which super cringe by the way, but if you ever fought one of those guys in GTA, especially, oh my god, bro. One time. I think I made a video on this. They messaged me after revealing that they're an e-girl saying, You wish you could pull me IRL. You know, I'm straight, so probably not. But, um, yeah, no, that's the definite S tier. And it's going at the top S tier just because it's happened to me once, and it's so friggin' rare, but it is just so stupid. Like, I don't know, bro. So this is my tier list. I am. It's a pretty original one. I actually came up with an original tier list for once. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And it also lets me know that this tier list was a banger. Uh, <laughs> this is probably going to be a really short video. But yeah, um, I appreciate you watching this far if you did. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.